Facial recognition technology, a valuable crime-fighting tool or threat to civil rights. The technology has long been controversial, but it's still being used here in Detroit. Companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and IBM have all stepped in to end sales of their technology to law enforcement. Detroit City Council just approved a new ordinance designed to increase transparency and give the public a louder voice, but some wonder if it's enough. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is looking at both sides, including why some say more needs to be done. Big Brother is watching in Detroit. Police alone have access to thousands of cameras. Now council is taking action to make sure those being watched have a louder voice. After Detroit City Council approved the purchase of facial recognition software in 2017, Detroit City Council President Pro Tem Mary Sheffield says she decided in the future they should have to do more before such a vote. With the passage of the community input over government surveillance ordinance this week, she says that is ensured. Now, no technology can come before council unless there is adequate data and information. Questions must be answered. How is it going to be deployed? How long is the information going to be kept? Are civil liberties protected? So all of these things have to be checked off before we even vote on anything. In a city that is 80, over 80 percent black, to use a technology for law enforcement purposes that has been shown to disproportionately misidentify people with darker skins should be criminal. Eric Williams with the Detroit Justice Center and the ACLU Lawyers Committee wants more done. The ACLU is working on the lawsuit of Robert Williams, who was misidentified as a thief by Detroit facial recognition software and arrested at his Farmington Hills home in front of his wife and children. He was jailed for 30 hours. But if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. Imagine the 1960s civil rights movement. And imagine how it would have played out, or more likely, more likely not played out, had the police had the ability to track every single individual who was involved. The city has unsuccessfully attempted to weaponize uh, the technologies they have uh, against protesters. Tristan Taylor is an organizer with Detroit Will Breathe. He says police filed charges against him and other protesters using surveillance video as evidence, only to have charges dismissed by the court. I'm just saying as far as our use of technology, we use it constitutionally. The ordinance passed is similar to ordinances passed in numerous cities around the country, all trying to grapple with how surveillance technology is expanding rapidly. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.